Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video by Aristotle Investments. I went to Santa Rini, Greece. It was like three years ago. And I noticed every single shop was family owned. I was like, who bought this? They were like my great grandfather. One of them owned a the shop and said my great great grandfather owned it, but I don't know his name. They got so much generational wealth. They just working in the shop and they don't even know who bought it first. But they know this a family member who bought it. That's what we doing wrong. We not giving them something that they can right. just go in and just work. Fail proof system. I don't care if it's a coin laundry mat. I don't care if it's a restaurant. I don't care it's a museum. I'm like, I'm going to pass down something. Just the family that you got to have with it. They have to be raised up like that. You know what I mean? The family business is trying to pass them down. Just let, you know what I'm saying? It's this system where you can buy people's businesses. I was like, damn, you got to wait till a dude about to pass and hope his kids too spoiled or entitled to even. Damn. We ain't passing that down. We just passing down money. They need cash flow passed down to them. Kirby, I thought of you when I saw this video because when he mentioned that people are working in the shops in, in Greece and they don't even know who first bought it. I was like, that's going to be a Kirby. <clears throat> great, 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 great grandkids are going to be working at something or build, continuing to build the legacy and they don't even know who that first person was, but they know it was a family business. I think that's really powerful because I don't even think it's, you know, if they know your name or not, okay. But to know that someone in their family started that generational wealth someone in their family left that to their family and they know they know not to take that away from the family that's something rare that you don't see in america most i mean most assets can't last past the first generation i mean the the generation to come right after because everyone wants to liquidate everything so to see that happening in other countries is is really neat but what are your thoughts on this one so this is my this is my true non BS opinion about it. The the ideal of family, and I'm I don't only can speak for America. Of course, I've been in those countries that they spoke about in the video. But I'm talking about America. The value of family in America is nowhere near the level of value of family in any other country in, in the world. It is not. The reason why you don't see family businesses and legacy businesses last long for majority part uh, in America is because everybody want to create their own path. Everybody want to travel the roads that's unventured. And they, oh, I don't want to do this. I want to do that. They don't respect the legacy of the four people before them. You know, they... They mentors and crap is the next social media TikToker or the next rap artist or entertainer or basketball player, stuff like that. So for the most part, most people heroes are not, and I'm talking about in America, most people heroes are not in their household. Most people heroes are outside of their household. So, I mean, just think of it now. If you're not flying private, if you're not flying private, got a Lamborghini, and got six mansions, you consider broke in America. I mean, especially with this generation. So, so I, I I remember two days ago. This is two days ago. My my son, my son just running around the house. He's grabbing my watches and running around. He don't know that a clue what the watches is or anything like this. And then so he goes into my drawer and he see a box and then. He see it says Gucci on it. Then he just thought that, oh, I'm bald and I got a Gucci. I got on Gucci. I seen somebody else got on Gucci, so now I'm rich. You know, that's that's what everybody's hero is outside of their house. And I think that's the big flaw that's out there. I mean, especially in America, the dynamic family. You know, I mean, no matter where you come from, I'm not gonna say inner city or nothing like this, but for the most part, the dynamic family is not there. So most kids either growing up without their mother or without their father. Or they probably end the situation somewhere, you know, making child support payments, but they're not grown dynamically. And so I think that's a big part of it. Before I get into the video, that's a big part of it, why we don't see this element. But is that what I'm trying to establish? Yes. Yes. Um, the A big part of the video that it said when... The gentleman, I don't know his name, but one that was in the yellow, he said, uh, only thing we do is pass down cash to kids. And that's right. 
and for majority of them, they don't know what the hell to do with it because you didn't know what the hell to do with it. So, you know, you might have some money in a life insurance policy and you think you did great. No, you just hand her in their life more. Um, but when Aristotle said you need to pass down cash flow to kids, and that's the part of the video people will probably miss. Pass down cash flow so they can't destroy the asset. Right? They don't have the ability to go sell the business. They don't have the ability to run it into the ground. You know, you put somebody, it's a family-owned business, but you get somebody that's hard-charging executor, somebody that's outside of the network to make sure the family structure stays together. You know, you don't give your son the ability, oh, when I die, you could just sell off the business. No, this is here so you and your kids can keep making money way after the fact. So when Aristotle said pass down cash flow, that's my intention. My intention is not for oh, I'm just going to give my kids free reign and they can go sell off the businesses or they can do that. They can add too. They can't ever take from. And then they get passed down the cash flow from the business. But they don't get, but the cash flow understanding is after everything is taken care of in the business, the kids get the cash flow. Not the kids get the money and then hope that they take care of the business. That's a different dynamic. And a lot of people don't set up, set it up that way. And then next thing you know, whew, everything's gone. I love my kids, but I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, they're going to do everything that I want to do. But I want to make sure it's there for their kids after them if they don't want to do it. Because I know somewhere in this lineage, I'm going to have some knucklehead that's just, that just, uh, that's going to try to mess it up. So I'm not going to even give them the power to mess it up and mess it up for future generations. Because people have that selfish mindset. And I know more social media, the more the stuff get pushed in people's face, the more the heroes goes outside of the house instead of in the house. But I, I love the video because that is what people should strive to be. But in America, it's very hard when you're battling against every social media influence, every rapper, entertainer. And then you got the media out there making people believe that this is who you should be listening to instead of your parents. I think that's such an important aspect to passing down cash flow rather than the cash, because I mentioned on a video we did probably months ago, but the amount of disrespect that it is for a kid a grandkid whoever to just liquidate everything their parent or their grandparent worked for and just blow it on their lives it's just it's mind-boggling honestly for me at least that's how i look at it it's like you know some one individual puts in 60 years of labor and you know execution their whole life to just try and leave something to their family and it just gets thrown away it's it's insane to think that that's the reality that we live in in america yeah and 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 it's more of people people believe that their life is the life right and what i mean by that is and when i'm we're talking about lineage and passing stuff down they just thinking you know they married to their wife 60 years. Oh, my kids is going to get married and they're going to be married for 60 years also. We could just pass it down to them. It'll be a good, wholesome household. I'm not that naive. I make sure I call my kids ugly just because they're a little cute little, I ain't going to say what I really want to say about them, but I just call them ugly because this was going to happen. They're going to think they're fine. They're going to think they're cute. You know, granddaughter out here, she probably going to think she's the finest thing on earth, but Divorces do happen, especially in America. So I have to protect them for this from themselves. I'm not gonna, I don't live in that hope world. I'm not gonna, oh, I hope she get married or he gets married to somebody and they're great and they'll never get divorced. And then if I pass the asset down to them, let's say the asset's worth millions, and I pass it down to them and they keep running the operation, they get divorced. You think he or she, whoever the spouse or husband is, is not gonna wife or husband, excuse me. Is they're not going to want half of the assets, so that's why I'm not passing them the assets. I got to protect them from themselves. I know they're gonna do crazy stuff, knucklehead stuff. I'm not hoping it on them, but I'm just saying through generations that's what happened. Uh, you know, they're gonna do something, get in a car, get in car accidents, they pe pe things happen, but I have to protect them from themselves. So if those things do happen. The whole family's not suffering because of one stupid incident. 
So that's the whole ideal. It's about structure and understanding, but people would just believe like, oh, I could pass it to this kid. This kid's good and everything's going to be okay. No, life happens. So start setting up structures and understanding. But the first thing that needs to happen, the dynamic family needs to happen back, especially in the United States and get more focus on family and what family is and bring the heroes back into the household. Because... I don't want I don't want kids, you know, I you know appreciate it, but I don't want people outside of my house looking at me as a father figure, like, yeah, I want to be just like him. No, you want to be just like your mom, just like your dad. But again, to the parents, you have to be something that's worthy to be looked up to. You can't just be out here doing whatever and saying, Oh, I told my kid, but you're telling your kid one thing, but you live in something else. Kids are gonna do what they see you do. So that dynamic of it is very, very important. So that means said, guys, if you have any questions or comments, let us know down below. Share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.